we can incorporate isometric muscle training into our treatment programs. And this one for supraspinatus is particularly helpful for some patients to, who might be reluctant to move because of pain. So we stand them in the corner of a room and I'm pretending to be the wall here on this side. And Jack's going to push out into the wall. The wall is also giving a little bit of a feeling of support. And so it's an isometric contraction into the wall, holding for somewhere in the region of 20 seconds and then release relax and repeat and so do that again push out that's it good and, um, and it's not a wrestling match particularly it's a sub-maximal contraction that we're looking for this sustained contraction and then release and relax and we might do five or more of, in around five repetitions of this 20 second sustained isometric contraction and then moving to the biceps. So the long head of biceps, I'm going to invite Jack to get hold onto the bottom of the couch and I'm going to be the counterbalance here. So you are bending back and we want to have some bend in the elbow and it's just a, applying a little bit of body weight to this isometric hold, not the whole of his body weight, but just a little bit and hold and then release and relax. And of course, if you were doing this on something that was a bit higher, uh, then, then you wouldn't be bending quite so far down. But isometrics can have this role to play in activating the muscle system that can help to disperse swelling and manage painful symptoms to a certain extent. And so again, it can be just another way of opening the door to making movement part of that rehabilitation process.